I have decided to do a little recording here. Um, I've done some of the mock-up and I'm just going to uh, explain some of it as well. So we are now in a new page and as you save the page, hold the mouse over the save button and it will change to save as and if you choose publish you'll get an area up here on the right side uh, and sidebar area where you have various options, time options for publishing. Select draft and it will say at top here uh, saved as draft. Private, when you choose private up on top here it will uh, say private and you'll get a password and it will say password and you'll just fill in a box with the password and click OK. So instead of having these options here on the right side, which is kind of confusing today, I would rather just have them up here at the top when someone hovers over the save button, it will change to save as and you'll just choose one of these options. And whatever that fits with this option will come on, on the right side here. Okay, so here we have the regular content or layout area. I'm changing this to just calling this layout and then the HTML. I will move over to the right side here a little bit. As you see there's a template view. Uh, I like using templates from Dreamweaver because one can easily uh, use a page over and over again and just make modifications. So let's just say we're going to start with blank. I can click blank, I can click default, I can click the layout styles and the content area in here will then change to reflect the template. So uh, if I create whatever page here I can choose to save it as a template or I can just skip it and then, then just save it. And the custom layout will just come here on the right side or that's how I see it. So if we start with the blank, okay blank area here Main elements are then header, sidebar, content, and then footer. So I would drag a header in here, and when I do that, a semi-transparent grid shows up. And it would be kind of like an old-time table, because remember, if you remember the table, you could drag the cells, make them uh, bigger or smaller. You can choose to click one cell, select multiple cells, add a background, but here I'm looking at just uh, having, uh, choosing cells, putting in the background color, putting in curved corners if I'd like, and etc. etc. border, border color, and choosing margins, stuff like that. I could have a little button here called grid, click it, and you can have a slider for opacity for the semi-transparent grid. And you can just choose columns for instance right away, three or four columns, whatever you want. And then just drag the header section and just drop it in the cell or semi-transparent grid where you want it. And from that, you just add the add media. Click inside add media, add a picture or add two headers for that matter. And then we'll just move on and you just click and drag the sidebar and drop the sidebar on the left in the middle or on the side or bottom or wherever you want the sidebar and do similar there. You just click the sidebar in here and add a background. You can uh, add whatever other modifications to it. And these modifications could just probably show up here on the sidebar as a uh, active area. Make modifications and just click outside of it and it will disappear from here. So add in a content, add in footer. So click inside these different areas and then add widgets. Um, I thought about this last night uh, that widgets you can have a, a clicked A or a one or uh, most used you can a button. Click that and the widgets that are most used will then show up in drop down. Click B button or two or, or something like that and um, not as used button will show up in the widgets drop down and C not used at all will show up then. Click and drag and drop them into where you want them. If you want them up next to the header sidebar, content, or footer, um, that's fine. So this is a page. I'm thinking that all pages or posts can be added to a category. This It could be a menu category, it could be a, a most used category, as a way of categorizing all pages.
pages and I'll get back to that in a moment. So that is then the page and the most important part here is then the semi-transparent grid as a table or just a pumped up table and making modifications to it. That means you can select multiple cells, add a background color to it and just make a box and just put some text in there or whatever widget in there and you'll have this background box behind it. Click the HTML and you'll get the HTML here and you'll also get an active CSS box here on the side where you can modify the CSS. So, okay, those are some of those thoughts um, for this page. And I believe that's the most important area that I have here. So, categories, uh, edit a category. First, I would say that, I'm gonna go down to that first, categories. It should look like a, a post and pages area and it should be drag and drop both drag them up and down the same with all pages as well drag and drop and post pull them up and down uh, for categories you should have a color label and then these could the the color can then be added to the edit screen or it could be just added to each category as a way of viewing all ca categories you can sort by color for instance, if you have a main category and sub menu categories, and let's say if these were the same color, you could just have sort by green and you would have the WordPress tutorials and plugins and how to, for instance, coming up first. So here a description, page posts, and just edit a category. And I look at it this way, similar to uh, page and post, Layout style, where's grids here? Just modify, similar as pages and posts. So we have some of the same structure going on for editing a category. So when you get up the category page, you would have just, uh, chosen the selected uh, or how you want the category to show. So we can have this for all categories or just for one category, how the layout for a specific category. Okay, a little bit confusing, but that's okay. Um, okay, we have an okay. We have color labels, and I believe that's it for now. Uh, so those are some of my ideas for a new WordPress features. Then, so again, uh, drag and drop the all categories all pages, all posts, sort by color label for instance and using that also for pages and posts and then the, here is the description so this should be as edited just like a regular page then. Okay so that's it for now.